Murray, is there someone that you need? here. You felt it, did you not? The time to hide your presence is coming to a close, and you will need to increase your training. You are ready. Your training must increase, and there are higher mysteries you must learn. But only you must know the path you will take. I cannot choose it for you. Is it battle that stirs you? To meet an enemy blade upon blade, such is the way of the greatest of the Sith marauders who seek strength in war and their rage. Or is it the ways of darkness and shadow that you seek, the power that comes from striking unseen and sensing weaknesses in others, the ways of the assassins of the Sith? Or perhaps your way lies with the Sith and the heart of their darkness. To recognize what strength is and bring that strength to those that follow you and those that defy you, the way of a Sith Lord. It is not some great test you require to be what you strive to be. It is only your decision to find that path that matters. From here on, you guide your destiny. But in order to take the next steps, you must face your past and put it to rest. have befriended the seer. Her species does not see as we do. They perceive the galaxy through the Force, and it is how she found you. It is a rare gift squandered on her people. Despite your urges, it would be better to deal with her now. Whether you intend salvation or slavery, she is a threat to us. She serves one of the greatest of the Sith. She is the most trusted and only apprentice. Yet you spare her. Why? We shall see. There may be value in such a choice to keep her alive, or perhaps not. Whatever your intentions toward her, keep them restrained. Whether mercy or lust, we have time for neither. Is that so? Well, perhaps there will be a second chance for her to inflict harm, so you may test such a statement. 
It is good that you have never wondered what lay beneath her robes, if her alabaster skin was as white and unblemished as her face, or if perhaps she bore the scars of slavery, and if that would stir you more, if perhaps her deferent tone would change once you held her by the throat and showed her how far a Jedi can fall. Few are the thoughts that can hide in the shadows of your mind, Exile, and such passions are not strength but erosion. I cannot help but hear you at times, and such curious thoughts they are, not at all like a Jedi. See to it that you do not ever act upon your impulses. Mating with her will bring more harm than you know. Like the servant of Atris, this one has other masters. Though blind, she has ties to darkness. Her presence here is a threat to us, to you. Do not underestimate her, or her loyalty. Then you are learning. Did he? And what do you make of that? You are right to trust your instincts. Something is wrong. It is only a matter of discovering what and why. If your instincts lead you to an answer, seek me out. Perhaps we will discuss more. Ask, and I will answer. Nice ship you have here. Where did you get it? I see. Well, you were lucky to get it then. This is a fast ship. Well made. I'll bet she'd have some stories to tell. Now, was there something else you needed? I fought countless battles. Ones most didn't walk away from. The wounds add up. And even the implants are all that keep me going sometimes. I may have been stronger in my youth, and stupider, but now I've got to rely more on my armor, my weapons, and my cunning. Now is there something else you needed? I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorians. I will help you fight your battles and plan your strategy, but I will not be your errand boy. Find some other lackey to do your bidding. Now is there something else you needed? The Republic thinks my people are dead, scattered. They are wrong. You should have destroyed us when you had the chance. As long as one Mandalorian lives, we will survive. Our honor, fortunes, and lives revolve around battle. From our earliest history, this has been our way, as it will be always. Our history and our ways are something we shield from outsiders. Only on the battlefield can you truly learn of someone. Which is one of the reasons I travel with you. It pleases me that you recognize the truth. The Mandalorian clans will be united. Then we will take back our place in the galaxy. But we live in times of action, and I've said enough for now. We can speak of this again later. Now is there something else you needed? We have suffered defeats before, but none like our defeat at Malachor. Our spirit may have faded, but it hasn't died. It will burn bright again, like a star in the heavens. The end of the Mandalorian Wars was something new and unknown to us. Revan fought us like a true warrior and defeated us on our own terms. Revan embodied our philosophy and showed us our own weaknesses. Then, he exploited them. It was a painful lesson. With Mandalore dead, our weapons taken, and our pride destroyed, many lost their way. But I will change that. I would appreciate your help. 
Many in the Republic look at the Mandalores as wild and violent Kinrath. Now, after many years, a new Mandalore has returned. We have a long tradition of honor in dealing with allies and those who provide us aid. It's a tradition that those we war against are quick to forget. I can tell you want to know more, but we can talk more later about this. Now is there something else you needed? Being Mandalore is the greatest honor for our people. Mandalore's helmet is passed from one leader to the next. When Revan executed Mandalore before our eyes, he cast Mandalore's helmet away, denied it to us. He took Mandalore's helmet and left with it. If he hadn't done that, the new Mandalore would have been chosen that day. But without leadership and direction, the clans scattered, fell apart. During the Jedi Civil War, I met and traveled with Revan. I was there with him when he defeated Darth Malak, and traveled with him afterwards. Eventually, he told me where he had taken the helmet. He set me upon this path. We can talk about Revan and other things later, if you like. You know enough for now. Now is there something... Something up? All right. Sounds good to me. I'll deal. Something up? All right. Sounds good.
We've hit the ground. This is Korriban. Why would one of the Jedi you're looking for come here? An adequate job, pilot. Perhaps here there is some trace of those who pursue us. I sense that we may be truly alone on the surface. There are signs of life on the surface. Beasts by the dozen. So don't worry. You won't be quite as lonesome as she makes out. You might want to keep your, uh, lightsaber sharp. Or do whatever you do in these situations. Although, I think that the pilot's mechanical devices are probably accurate. If there are Sith here, their numbers are few and they are hidden. It seems quiet. Just the wind. But deep beneath the surface, you can feel the pain of what took place here. This place merely tolerates sentience walking upon it. It is pleased to have been left alone. There is great power here for those with the ambition to use it. There is great power in this place, for those who can hear its call. There is much that will draw a Jedi to this place. The resting grounds of the ancient and more recently departed Sith contain many teachings believed lost. The most likely place to find our lost Jedi is the ruins of the old academy. If you walk Korriban's surface, you shall walk it without me. I will remain here and meditate. Our link remains. I shall contact you and provide guidance when needed. The Academy is on the other side of this valley. Be careful. Dark energy fills these ruins, and even the fallen Sith live still. see what's going on, and the others have felt it too. You can't hide it, General. Just look at your face. I saw other Jedi who looked like you during and after the war. It's that woman. You have to get away from her. She'll destroy you. Just be careful, General. You don't know what she wants, and she's got some goal. I'm sure of it. Was there something you wanted me for? Let me see what you have. That's everything. Yes, I got tired of it. Kept dropping my hydro spanner. Figured I'd get a new one. If you were me, you'd probably want to joke about it too. Actually, it was a souvenir from Malachor. I was lucky I didn't lose more. But at least it gave me something to do, right? Everyone always said I was probably half the machine anyway. Something else I can help you with? That old thing? I built him when I was a kid been following me around for years now, despite what I've done to try and chase him off. Hey, just kidding. I'm happy to have you around. I would, but then I wouldn't be the only one with a floating sphere following him around, and I kind of like that. He helps me out with repairs. I outfitted him with a cutting laser and some other tools for delicate modifications. He's also good for singeing the pants of annoying techs. I've been thinking about doing some other work on him, but I barely have time. Too busy fixing up the ship. Something else I can help you with? If the Republic would just rein Zerka in, there'd be no problem. But as long as Zerka is allowed to undermine the Athorian's efforts, Telos will remain dead. I can't take seeing my work being used by those bloodsuckers. But there's nothing I can do about it, so let's talk about something else. Something else I can help you with?
The structures you see around you are the plundered tombs of the ancient Sith Lords. Each tomb was once infused with the history and heritage of the old Sith Empire, containing great mysteries and powerful relics of the Force. However, even the many traps could not long hold back the curious, the fools, and the weak. And so these tombs fell, spilling their secrets into the hands of those unable to comprehend or preserve them.
It might be helpful if I made some changes to my remote's maintenance laser to do spot repairs. Analysis. Such an improvement would be beneficial to maintaining optimal damage output in combat situations. Suggestion. Master, your technician should be put on this task right away. All right then. I'll work on it when we get back to the Hawk. There. You should be able to do some quick fixes. You won't be able to perform serious repairs, but you should be able to patch up any broken droids. I don't understand why you won't let me take a look. Statement. I've had quite enough tampering at the hands of unskilled meatbags such as yourself. I'm not eager to submit to this treatment now or in the future. Unskilled meatbag? I'll show you unskilled. Appeasement. I did not mean to imply that you were an unskilled meatbag, as incapable of performing rudimentary repairs as holding a hydro spanner. It is only that I am quite particular with my repairs. Perhaps, when I am more confident in your abilities, I will allow you to examine my internal components. So you fought against the Mandalorians in the war? I was part of the war effort, yes. I worked as a technician, though. But you fought on the front lines. To a Mandalorian, there is honor in that. I could do without your Mandalorian honor. I saw the results of your honor. The absolute destruction your warriors brought. And look at them now. Mandalorians are little better than mercenary thugs. And what's honor to someone like that? All they care about are credits. If I were you, I'd pick your words more carefully. You fought for no cause other than to spread suffering and pain to the people you conquered. 
Maybe that's what it looked like to you, but that isn't why we fought. We fought for honor and glory in the heat of battle. You did nothing but murder innocents. The Republic took us too lightly. We wanted to face the full force of their army. We had to goad them to fight. That's exactly what I'm talking about. If you ask me, you Mandalorians just got what you deserved at Malachor. Defeat is part of a warrior's life. We will recover, stronger than before. Doesn't it even bother you that your people were almost destroyed? Or do lives have no meaning to you? People die in war. Well, I'm glad to have you guarding my back. Fine by me. Something up? All right. broken corpses before you are all that remain of the Sith on Korriban. I doubt there is much to be gained from looting these bodies. It would be best to leave them be. Unnecessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of hostilities.
What's that stench? Listen. The wind from the cave tells of great power within. Recently awakened. Yes, a great powerful stench. There is great power and dark energy within this cave. I would advise you to finish your explorations within the Academy before venturing into the cave. left open on purpose. Someone is expecting us. You can expect more than these beasts within the Academy. Be prepared. is here. Find him. I hear you. How may I serve? I hear you. Say the word. 
Let me take care of this. The honor is mine. Let me take care of this. Just say the word.
my life is yours. My life is yours. Say the word. My life. Just say the word. Life is yours. Just say the word.
My life is yours. I hear you. felt this Jedi's death shortly after we arrived on Korriban. So this is who we came here to find? Looks like this has been a big, dangerous waste of time. I hear you. How may I, I say? hear you.
Did you come here for answers? There are none. The call of Korriban is strong, but it is the call of the dead. It is fitting you came here. I have studied you and found nothing but weakness. Yet still she clutches at you, as if you are all that gives her life. You are a wretched thing. A thing of weakness and fear. You are her apprentice in name only. I am the master. And that is why you will die. This is not a battle that can be won. Flee. There will be another time, but it is not now, not here, while Korriban runs through him. She protects him, shields him. Find him, hunt him wherever he travels. He will not escape me again. I will bring his corpse to her, cast it at her feet. It will be as if killing her children. I will kill all she protects, all she shields, until her hands are drenched in blood. Say the word.
I believe you are strong enough to explore the tomb ahead. This tomb has not been plundered. Its mysteries may still be intact, but so might its traps. Take great caution. What is that? Can't go any further. I sense a great presence within this tomb. Master, it calls to you. You will have to face the challenges of this tomb alone. Are you ready? Do not heed the words of the Jedi Council. The Republic will fall if we do not act now. Already the Mandalorians have taken three systems along the rim. They will only grow more powerful with time. Come stand with me. We will use our might to help the Republic in its time of need. Join Revan and I. Together we will battle this menace. The Jedi Council is wise, but will take too long to deal with this threat. We must act now to stop the Mandalorians. I have heard of you. Your masters speak well of you, of your skills in battle. Join us. Revan and I will be taking up our lightsabers for the good of the Republic. 
without the blessings of the Council. The Council seems content to watch, to debate, while entire systems fall to the Mandalorians. If we don't act now, there may be no Republic Army to assist in the future. I sense you will join us. What are your reasons? decision. Conflict often reveals much hidden within a person, their true strength. It was within our power to end the war, and the Council chose to debate behind closed doors while planets burned. You have learned much. You no longer need to obey their hollow teachings. So, if you could do it all again, the real question is, would you? The Mandalorians await on the edge of space, eager to crush the Republic. You know how this turns out. Would you do it any different, knowing what it costs you? Knowing what it costs the rest? So knowing all that would transpire, would you still follow Revan and I? Excellent. And now you are all alone. Would you join me now? You didn't follow Revan and I down our path. Join us. Your journey hasn't ended yet. More power than the Jedi can ever offer you. The first lesson will be carved in your flesh. Pain is the ultimate teacher, and the lesson begins now.
Tom says we've lost another heavy droid transport. How can we break through the Mandalorian lines without support? The path is mined and the place is crawling with enemies. I know we've got our orders to press forward, but we're at quarter strength. We can't, General. It's impossible. We need to retreat. We already lost half the men just getting to the path. They've got the rest of the company pinned down by the crash site. You can't possibly ask the troops to go forward. If you ask us to charge, will it make a difference? Will our sacrifice mean something? We... we will press forward if you ask it. The path is mined. If you ask us to charge, there will be losses, General. I'll tell the men, General. 
Everyone, you heard the general. Charge! Charge! <laughs> to be commended for making it this far.
You've revisited the dark moments of your past, and now you must face the present. Your confusion is natural. The others and I will help you understand. Get away from her! She's a dark Jedi. Atten, I've had enough of your snide contempt. Hey, what's the commotion here? Stay out of this, Beodor. This is a personal dispute between Atten and myself. You're threatening Atten with a lightsaber, and I'm supposed to just stay out of it? No. The three of you would challenge me? You sorely underestimate the power of the Force. Think again, Kreia. Your dark influence will end. Your friends are all arrayed against me. Will you stand for this? So you will do nothing? Apathy is death. Worse than death. Because at least a rotting corpse feeds the beasts and insects. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. Statement. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. side is very strong here. It tests you. It tests us all. If you fail that test, there may be more tests to come. Be on your guard. Search the room you are in. You should be able to unlock a passage that leads outside the tomb.
Here, you can just barely see the Sith archaeologists' efforts to uncover relics of the ancients. General, what is it? Traveling with the Mandalorians, it brings back too many memories. Don't worry about me. I won't cause any problems. But if Mandalore steps out of line, I'll put him out the airlock. You're too trusting, General. Was there something you wanted me for? Something up? All right. Sounds good.
Has there been any sign of the ship? No, mistress, nor any word of our sister. We do not know where they travel now. The freighter. It is important. And I thought the droid was as well, but I was wrong. Mistress, we still do not know the significance of the ship or the droid. We downloaded all you asked, but we are still no closer to the answers you seek. Then perhaps we'll need to have faith that your sister will change her mind, remember her oath, and return to us with the answers we seek. I hope so, mistress. But there has been no word of her since she departed with the other four on the freighter. Four? Yes, mistress. The Iridonian, the Ichani-trained pilot, the exile, and the old woman. Old woman? Yes, mistress. I do not recall seeing her. Mistress, she was secured for much of the time the exile was here. At other times, you were meditating, and we did not wish to disturb you. Mistress, is there something wrong? I am tired. I sometimes feel as if things are collapsing all around us. It is just at the edge of perceptions, waiting. I fear... I fear things will collapse before our enemies reveal themselves. Yes, mistress. I will meditate upon this. Perhaps it will clear my mind. Something up? All right. Yes.
you shut up. Mandalore ordered me to report here and escort you wherever you need to go on Duxon. Follow me then. You received my message then. A man named Kavar wanted to get a hold of you urgently. He said that the Queen had arranged safe passage to Onderon for you, but I don't know how good their offer is anymore. He wouldn't tell me anything, just that he wanted to see you. He said it was urgent, but that doesn't matter now. This morning, General Vaklu met with the Council of Lords and declared that the Queen was guilty of treason. He'll be made regent if Talia and her royal guard are defeated. The military is divided on who to support. Civil war has fallen on Isis. I doubt that Queen Talia and her advisor will survive until nightfall. The balance of forces seem to favor Queen Talia. The royal palace is heavily fortified and defensible, and most of the soldiers are loyal to her. But Vaklu has new allies. 
Sith soldiers and their masters. The war has also driven the caged beasts in the streets mad. Braylor and I both concur. She doesn't stand a chance. You underestimate the Force, Mandalorian. I sense that we may still get to Master Kavar in time. I sense there is something stirring on the moon itself. Tell me, have your senses picked up anything from Duxon? Yes. Yes, we have. How? We picked up some transmissions from nearby in the jungle. Zuka's satellite relay has also picked up several shuttle launches with old Sith transmitter IDs. Some sort of staging base, perhaps. The Sith forces must be stopped. Otherwise, the Mandalorian is right. Master Kavar and Queen Talia won't survive this day. Dividing our forces at a time like this is foolhardy. And this is why a common soldier will never triumph against a Jedi. Your military tactics are nothing compared to the Force. It is essential and inevitable that we face both enemies at the same time. You must choose who will lead the expedition through the jungle to find our enemies and defeat them. I will do what you ask of me. You should send two others to go with the leader. It's your decision. And who else? Excellent choice. Now are you certain of your choices? Mandalorian warriors will go with you to find the enemy camp. Just let me know when you want to head out. If you need supplies, talk with Kex. After you get into the jungle, you might not have another opportunity to stock up. Let me know if you want to go now. As you wish. Mandalore has arranged for special transportation to get to Isis. Finally, we're close to our objective. I sent the rest of my men to secure the trail behind us. My troops will keep the path to the Mandalorian camp clear. Ahead lies the enemy. I can follow you a little bit further, but then I will set up command and control for my unit in the field. So lead on.
Ready. Some sort of sensor is up ahead, beyond the mines. Yes. Yes, that's what it is. That relay will detect anything that gets too close to it. Only a skilled stealth field operator can get by it safely. But unless all of you can use stealth generators, it will detect your group. Too bad, too. If you got by it undetected, it could make your task much easier. Making detonation packs is complicated and dangerous. It looks serviceable, and you didn't blow yourself up. Avoid the mines. If any of the ones close to the sensor are detonated...
shall be very strong here. I am returning outside. My attention is required to keep the path to our camp clear. Gah! The time for practice is over. There are intruders in the tomb and they cannot be allowed to reach our master. The ritual must not be interrupted. I don't need to mention the price of failure. Men, follow me. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's so easy. But how did they do it? You doubt our master's power? They have erased the minds of these beasts and made them our obedient servants. With an army of these, who could defeat us? No one, of course! Now the next... The intruder is here! Beast, attack! As you command, my lord.
of such a weapon is absurd. The Force is there to be used. That is the truth of the dark side. Use your emotions. Use your rage and channel the Force. Use its power to break your chains and forge your own destiny. Just give in. Let the walls around your emotions fall. Let vengeance guide your hand. Let passion fuel your power. You feel it. Yes. Yes. You can see it. You can feel it around you. There are no limits to what you could achieve. Join us. Instead of freedom and power, you have chosen death. So be it. said that he and your friends are making good progress through the jungle. Trust me, this is worth the wait. And here it is, a salvaged basilisk war droid. Mandalore said that he would make it available to you for insertion into the city of Aziz. I assure you, they won't know what hit them. Yes, just like a new Mandalorian recruit proving themselves. 
into the heart of a war as well. Mandalore has given you a great honor. Unfortunately, its weapons systems aren't fully functional yet, as are some other unimportant support systems. But she will get you to Isis in one piece. Their fighters won't be able to stop that. We've modified the interior to hold three people. Maybe a little tight. You need to leave immediately. Isis is in the grip of a civil war, so there'll be considerable resistance. They remember the last time Basilisk war droids visited their planet. Fight ferociously. And if you die, take as many as you can with you. Basilisk? A basilisk here? Mandalorians are attacking the city! Talia has made an alliance with the Mandalorians. Men, destroy them. Thank you. 
I recognize you. You're that off-worlder. Come, we have no time. Vatlu's forces have overrun the sky ramp. The royal palace could fall any minute. We must save the queen. Your plan seems to have succeeded. Your enemy has indeed revealed himself. I anticipated the Sith, but those beasts, those beasts weren't in my battle plan. Even now, Vatlu is using them to breach the palace. I will not surrender to that usurper. I would die first. Every man here would give their life to keep that from happening. There is hope. It is faint, but growing stronger. I think my message was received. Which message? What are you talking about? An old student is returning. I don't think the Sith are going to know what hit them. This way! This way to the sky ramp! There are two force shield checkpoints along this path. Vaclu's forces have held this ramp for over a standard hour. That means they control the checkpoints now. If we can get to the turret tower up ahead, we can deactivate the first barrier. The force shields won't present a problem. I can get us through them. You can? That'll save us precious minutes. The forces we're encountering right now are their rear guard. The fighting will get tougher the closer we get to the front of the battle line. in the bunker are contained. We deploy as soon as the reinforcements arrive. A Jedi? Here? Men, attack! falling to the dark side. It is a quick path, and often a short one. But I sense a disquiet in you, an unrest. Such things will erode your strength. They sense the trappings of power and decision upon you. Their lives are static, trapped, and they see one who carries no such chains. Ah, 
then you have learnt nothing. From such small things, from such critical points, the universe and its masses may be moved. That is why you must be careful in all that you do and in every choice you make. Aiding them gives you strength by taking on their challenges, but weakens them. If that is your choice, then use their dependency, feed upon it, until you have exhausted them. Then leave them. And I would view the ones you travel with much the same way. Ah, now you are learning. Do you know why those we meet display such weakness? As I said, their lives are static, untested. It is only through interaction, through decision and choice, through confrontation, physical or mental, that the Force can grow within you. You have seen it. You have felt it within you as you have traveled with me. The growing anger, the rage, and the power it brings. Yet the power does not build without such struggle. Through small cruelties, greater ones are born. Yes, General? Is the Jedi still- We're under attack, man! has been breached. Slicers has control of the security grid. He blew up that power conductor. Their slicer has to be using a palace security terminal. They've already locked down all secondary computer systems on the sky ramp. Until we deal with their slicer in the palace, you can bet that there will be more surprises up ahead. Ah! Tail command, we need reinforcements. A Jedi Knight is assaulting our flank. Hold the line! Attack, men! Attack! Good, some reinforcements. Follow the Jedi. We're gonna retake the palace. We've got to stop General Vaklu before he gets to the Queen. Run! Run! 
Blood! will be dealt with. The second force shield is up ahead. It looks like it's been damaged by orbital bombardment. Uh, you might be able to bash your way through it with your lightsaber. the throne room. We must get to the Queen to protect her. If you're heading to the palace, we'll follow you there. The palace itself has been breached. We've made it to the palace. General Vaclo's troops haven't been here too long. Hopefully, we still have time to save the Queen. Straight ahead is the throne room. Vaclu's hand-picked troops will probably be here. I'm gonna stay here and keep the intersection secure. If any more Royalists arrive, I'll keep them organized. Shut the outer door, now! I'm impressed you made it this far, but you are too late. Soon the Queen will be dead, and General Vaclu will be the new king. This is no ordinary door between us. The same material is used for the hull of capital-class vessels. I'm afraid you will find it quite impregnable. That would sound so much more convincing if you were on the other side of the door. Now, if you will excuse me, we have one last barrier to take care of. Let's go. I hear you. Gather our forces. Make sure the defenses are set. Colonel Tobin says the Jedi is coming our way. Take your beasts and attack him. We need more time to prepare. I'm going to the control room. Perhaps the captain can be persuaded to cooperate.
Yes. Yes. Salli a listo park norcia, lus ni hacha batisu. Cavotumpe a botenia, da ci morotaza a camsa. Ba wan maderancia, you come most croon. Nande mi so cu curan marenden crabanosot. Te wata lorcia, te scala, sorcia widono soba nichu waka. To basha chupa Johnny. Bacho, bacho nika, ci orna por usa tu scora wot magra. No, Gaun, la sala armasa de eso. Wisión por las. Thank you. Now that you've got me out, you need to get the primary security console's override code, then lock the terminal down. Once you've got that code, if you can get to the secondary security station, you'll control the entire palace's security systems. The slicer's still logged into his account. You should be able to just get whatever you need.
What is it? Yeah? Yes. Tell the Colonel we'll need more of our men to smoke the Royalists out of their hole. I don't trust those Sith... or oh, their beasts. And another thing, if I catch any more of my men looting, then the Queen's Guard will be the least of your worries. I don't know how you made it, but well done. Come in quickly before more Sith or Vaklu troops arrive. We got split off from Talia's troops by the currents of this war. We really need to talk, but Kadron and I are coordinating the defense of the war. I know Captain Kadron needs someone to handle a dangerous assignment. He's in the other room. Talk to him. No one else could do the job. Even if there wasn't a civil war going on, I can only say so much. We'll talk later. Now, every moment counts. We'll talk when all of this is over. Until then, may the Force be with you. What is it? Let's go. So, you're the Jedi, eh? Well, the comm chatter we've intercepted is filled with reports about you. You fought right through their flank on the sky ramp? We desperately need someone like you. We've managed to hold this part of the palace, but Vaklu's forces control the rest. We need to get to the Queen before that flaming Drexel breaks through the inner door. There are two security consoles in the palace. The primary security console is on the other side of the palace. There's an expert slicer over there who's been hampering our every move. We need to transfer all primary functions to our terminal here, then disable the primary security console. That will also take their slicer out of the picture. After that, we'll control security again, and can get to General Vaklu before he gets to the Queen. Feel free to take anything from the armory lockers in the next room, if you haven't already. This is no time for niceties. Talk to the Corporal. He can take you quickly to the palace entrance when you're ready to go to the South Hall. May the Force be with you. Yes. Let's go.
Do you want me to guide you to the palace? As you get to the security room in the south. You have? Oh, son of a mugrack! Corporal, use this code to open the outer door to the throne room. The door's open. Hurry! Will you just die already? You will go no further than this. You're too late. Our pet beast is about to breach the force field to the throne room. The queen will be dead in moments. Watch out! I've lost control of the beast! Ignore the beast! Into the throne room! The queen must die! Oh, blast it all!
The defense of Isis requires my full attention. Later. Your time is at an end, Talia. Your people have abandoned you, and now your life is forfeit. You would destroy everything just for your ambition, Vaklu. The Republic, Isis, everything. That is a gross simplification, Talia. Change is a painful process. Ah! A price must be paid. But Onderon will have a new destiny. One larger than you could imagine. You're getting careless, Vaklu. One more mistake, and you're the one who will pay the price. Damn you! Your skill with the blade won't save you from my men. Goodbye, Talia. Fire! What? The Jedi lives? But how? Kill him and the Queen men. Quickly. They must not be allowed to live. this battle, Talia. But your reign won't be an easy one. The Republic is a sinking ship, and you're too attached to it. He's too dangerous to leave alive. As distasteful as it is, it might be best to silence him forever. Until he's dead, all of Onderon is in peril. Damn you, Jedi. You have stopped a chance for a new age for this planet. In time, Onderonians will curse your name. What is done, is done. I don't think the service you have given us can ever be repaid. I must go with Captain Cadron. The fighting must be stopped. I will be back shortly to try and repay you. The crisis is over thanks to you and Master Kavar. I believe he'd like to speak to you, if you'll excuse me. Ah, oh, the wound is not a mortal one. Though it has been some time since I exercised my healing powers, there is a shred of life within you still. A gift from your master, no doubt. Awaken, Colonel Tobin. Your part in this is not over. Colonel Tobin, I am with Vaklu. The war has gone against him. He sent me to rescue you, to tell you you must make haste off planet. The Jedi have struck. They had a secret academy buried on Telos, and they are showing themselves at last. We are all in danger. What? But the Jedi are gone. They have all but vanished. So we all thought, but they have hidden themselves on Telos. Out of my way, old woman. This war can still be won, and Onderon can be freed. Indeed. This war is far from over. The Queen has requested you stay here until she gets back. I imagine you'll get some sort of reward. Talk with Master Kavar. She shouldn't take too long. The Queen has requested you stay here until she gets back. Talk with Master... The Force works in mysterious ways, it seems. There are times I'm not convinced it doesn't have a sense of humor. We spend all this time looking for you, and you came to us. 
I thought you might return to Onderon. Looks like just in time. The difficulties you surmounted to get here. You must have many questions. You deserve answers. So, you heard what we said. And these questions I cannot answer. This is something the Council must answer, not I. You must understand, this is hard for me, especially after all you've done, but it is necessary. There is something I would like to teach you. It is a technique which, I believe, will aid you in the trials ahead. Never before have the Jedi been so greatly outnumbered. You will doubtless encounter many situations with multiple assailants. To defend yourself against extraordinary numbers, use the Xian form. This style will also increase your ability to deflect blaster bolts. Excellent! I'm impressed with how quickly you've mastered this form. I always knew you were gifted. I'm going to Dantooine. The Jedi Council vowed to assemble again when the Sith revealed themselves. Now that they've attacked Onderon, we can act. Our paths will cross again. May the Force be with you. I'm sorry to keep you here. I needed to thank you personally for all of your help. Onderon owes both you and Master Kavar a debt that can never truly be repaid. Battles still wage in our streets, but by morning the conflict should be over. I recognize you must leave soon, but please, take this. These relics are from the Royal Museum. Generations ago, some members of the Royal Family had a connection to the Force. They weren't all too different from what we face today. I know little of the Force, but I hope you can put my family's relics to good use. Captain Bostuka has made arrangements for a shuttle to take you to your ship. I fear it will be quite some time before you can come back. The war was brief, but destructive. I will focus all of my energy on rebuilding Isis. Thank you again. I must go. If you will follow me, I will take you to your shuttle. Welcome back from Onderon. How did you fare? Such vanity does not become a Jedi. The Force works its will through you, as its catalyst for change. We should return to the Ebon Hawk now, and catch our next course of action. finally decided to let me take a look at your circuitry. Answer. Indeed, I did. I hope you understand how difficult it is for me to trust a meat bag with something as delicate as my inner mechanics. Explanation. Our encounters with my copies has convinced me that I should look into upgrading my capabilities in order that I may be able to destroy them with greater impunity. Worried you might be going obsolete? I understand. Objection. Nothing of the sort. I am programmed to improve my capabilities if it will improve my chances of destroying a target. Even as unsavory an avenue as this. You don't have to suffer on my account. Maybe you are better off not letting me dig around in you. Retraction. You must understand. 
My previous interactions with meatbags have rarely been pleasant. Disclosure. After all, most of those meetings involved the termination of said meatbags. It obviously couldn't have been your charming personality. Now, if you want me to see if I can upgrade your functionality, just let me get to work on you. Answer. In that case, please go ahead. Just be careful not to damage any of my delicate parts. Analysis. My self-diagnostic indicates that my performance has indeed been improved. Also, many of my systems are reporting improved efficiency. Commentary. I am most pleased with this turn of events. It would appear that my initial analysis of your mechanical abilities was incorrect. You're welcome. <laughs>